My name is Ruta and I'm holistic well-being coach, emotional integration practitioner and womb healing enthusiast. And today in our emotional alphabet series, I want to talk to you about this phenomenon which I call a magical Santa Claus thinking. State of behavior and interaction with the world where you think that what you do and what you put out there is not gonna come back to you and it's not gonna have any other consequences. I'll start from a very obvious and relatable example about the environment. Although this is actually applicable to emotional well-being, but say people buy stuff and they have a packaging and then they just throw away old things in the bin and they think ah, I can buy 25 washing machines I can change them every year and when they get disposed they just disappear somewhere and everything is fine I didn't cause any harm I just throw away the thing that I didn't need and then that thing is just disappear this kind of magical thinking indicates a little bit of uh, immaturity and let's say inability to take responsibility for your actions so when you take something when you buy something and let's say you throw away that thing in a dumpster you think this is not going to affect the world this is not going to affect the ecosystem and then you just keep on doing it without realizing that you taking and throwing away let's say not disposing properly or creating more demand is not going to have any effect on the world the purpose of the thing that I use is done with me. I already don't need that thing. And now I don't really care what's going to happen. Some, somebody's going to take care of it. Somebody's going to sort it out for me. So I don't need to worry about it at all. But what actually happens, every single thing that we dispose, we throw away or we brush under the carpet, it doesn't really go anywhere. So exactly the same thing happens with our emotional patterns and emotional output and emotional ecosystem for example we feel something someone triggers us we have some feelings we have some emotions and then we kind of just glide over them we suppress them and we think oh um, well it disappeared it's gone somewhere <laughs> nothing is gonna happen it's not gonna come back to me guess what if we keep on doing it over long period of time we're going to develop mental health issues we're going to develop physical health issues and we're going to probably get stuck in the patterns that are very bad for us for our relation for our well-being so i guess this episode is to make you aware if there is something that maybe you are not disposing of responsibly is there anything emotionally that you are not really recycling is there some emotional debris in your system where you think oh I just, i'm just gonna make sure i don't feel it now and it's just gonna disappear so this is my encouragement this is my call to wake up and encouragement to you to take responsibility for the things that you have not disposed properly emotionally so if there is something that you have a, this nagging feeling in the back of your mind that, okay, well, I hope this thing will never come back so I can forget about it, look into it. Because the chances are it with a bigger intensity than it did before. So responsible, emotional disposal. No more magical thinking, no more Santa Claus thinking, no more thinking that all the debris that I have in me is just going to disappear and all the debris that I may have put on other people is just going to disappear. It doesn't really go anywhere. It, it stays somewhere, it pollutes something and the worst thing that can happen is when it pollutes your system, when it pollutes your well-being when it ruins your relationship and when it ruins relationship with yourself so 
let's dispose our emotional debris, our emotional household items responsibly. Bye!